What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about why I chose the Mazda Speed 3 over the Mark 7 GTI, the Focus ST, and the WRX. But the reason I didn't get the Mark 7 GTI was primarily because it was a Volkswagen. I didn't want high cost repairs just for like really anything. Like anything that goes wrong with those cars is gonna be more expensive in general than something Ford, American made, or Japanese, like a Mazda. And number two, I don't know how to work on Volkswagens. I know it's a whole different, like, it's like a different language, really, uh, working on them. And I didn't want that right now. Uh, I just wanted to have something that I can work on and do the work myself. So it was, from there, it was either Mazda Speed 3 or Focus ST or WRX. The reason I didn't get a WRX, I, lo I love the cars. I, I hope to own an STI someday, but the only thing is, because uh, it's all-wheel drive, it's going to be a lot more money, and me being in college, it's going to be my fourth year in college, I wasn't looking to break the bank for like a $20,000 car. So that being said, because WRX hold their value so well, I mean, I could have got one with 100,000 miles, a couple years old, they're still going to want like $17,000 just being a Subaru WRX, having that badge on and all wheel drive. So they hold their value for a long time, which is great. Uh, if you buy one in the future, which hopefully I will. When I went to the Subaru dealership, I was like, so what are the, can I get some information on the lease? Like how, how does this work? I like I'm looking, I'm looking for some more information to get into a lease on the WRX. They told me, basically they said, ha, huh, in your dreams. So I was like, okay. I was like, oh, I'd like to give you my business. Can you help me find an ST or a Speed 3? So this lady looks at me, she's like, ha, ah, good luck finding one of those. So basically, that Subaru dealership in um, Exeter, New Hampshire, is just garbage. So the reason we went there was so we could schedule an appointment for my dad's Subaru because it was like bucking a lot. So that's what we were there for. And then, funny story, I found a Mazda Speed 3 is what I'm in now. Um, I've owned it for about three months. And two weeks later, we had to go back to the Subaru garage and I had to pick my dad up so they could work on the car. And so I pull up in a Mazda Speed 3 and that same lady's there. She just looks at me, we make eye contact. She just knew, she's like, oh shit, he found one. I was like, that's right, bitch. So that was a little heartwarming right there. The reason that I did not get a Focus ST was the, mainly the fact that I couldn't find any. All the used ones in my area had like 70,000 miles and they still wanted like 15 grand. But at that time and still even now, you could find a brand new one. It would be a base model though, for like 18 grand. Uh, mostly in the southern states. All the good deals are like in the south, it sucks. So then I was like, well, there's no good deals on Focus STs in my area. I test drove one, I think it was like 58,000, so it was just about to get out of its factory warranty. And they were asking, I think like 15,000 or 16,000, uh, which was quite a bit. It was an ST2, uh, did not have a sunroof. Or no, maybe it did. I forget. I didn't. I didn't get the car anyway, so it doesn't matter. The ST drove amazing. Um, I had no complaints of it. It seemed more like it wasn't turbocharged as, composed, as a, compared to the Mazda Speed 3. The Focus ST was just way more linear and gradual. Uh, it just it didn't feel like you're driving a turbocharged car. Uh, but with the Mazda Speed 3, it's like 3,000 RPM. Once that turbo kicks in, it just. I mean, it just pulls. Uh, but I don't know. I like driving the Mazda Speed 3 way more than the Focus ST, and I mean, I'm not saying the ST is a bad car. Uh, it was definitely like, it was one or the other. If I could have found an ST, which I figured I'd be able to find one easier than funny, Speed 3, because my area, there's like, I mean, in Maine, there's only a handful of Speed 3s. I'm pretty sure there's only like one other Speed 3 in my town, so they're hard to find. And even at the car meets, they're like hard to find. I was surprised that I found this Speed 3. This was in Massachusetts, like an hour and a half drive. And I found it on Car Gurus. I was like, damn, I need to go look at that. So I emailed the dealer and 
surprisingly they replied at like nine o'clock at night. So I was like, oh cool. I go there the next day, I'm looking at it. The only thing was the front bumper, the bumper clip underneath the headlight. I know that's like a common issue. You can buy like a kit for like 10 bucks to fix it. But I was looking at that and that was popped out. That was the only thing. Uh, it had an aftermarket suspension, which the dealer didn't know. So thankfully I got like a $1,200 suspension coilovers and they didn't even take that into consideration on the price. So the main reason I did not get a Focus ST was I couldn't find a good deal in my area. They wanted way too much money for a used vehicle. And I was like, that just is not gonna, like that's not gonna fly. If I had found a good deal on a ST that was used, I wanted the uh, ST2 or ST3 package. I wanted that Recaro C, um, but I didn't find one, unfortunately. I hate the look of the base models. The radio on those base models looks so ugly. Uh, even the seats, they're just like, eh. I've heard that they're actually still Recaro seats, the soft ones, or the base seats, but I was like, no, I like I either want leather interior, Recaro seats, or a Mazda Speed 3. And so I found the Mazda Speed 3. This car is so limited stock, like, I feel just comfortable driving a stock, and I know this thing, I could just run this thing like 200,000 miles, I don't think I'd have an issue. I mean, knock on wood. But it was kept stock. Uh, the only thing that was kind of like up in the air was the fact that the bumper clip on uh, the front underneath the headlight. But you can get like a fix, like a bracket for like 10 bucks on eBay. But that clip pops out. And that happens a lot if you're taking off the bumper doing like modifications. Um, you're taking it off a lot. So I was like a little worried about that. But then I saw there was a crack in the front bumper on the bottom on that same side. So I was like, that's probably why it got popped off. I mean, it didn't even have solid shifter bushings. It's only like 25 bucks. So I feel like if someone was to stock it out, like why, I don't see why someone would bother with shifter bushings, taking those out and selling them for what, like 15 bucks. Those are the reasons why I chose a Speed 3 over anything else. I had a Mazda, uh, it was a Mazda 3, the regular 3, not a Speed, for a couple of years. And I just loved every second owning that. Well, I just, I wanted a Speed 3. Uh, they were just so hard to find. And so finally, when I was like, I want to get my credit going, uh, I talked to my credit union, got approved for a good loan, uh, got a good rate, and I was like, it's time to buy a car that I can have fun with, that I can keep for a while. Uh, this car has 70,000 miles, just hit 70. Uh, so, I mean, I can, I can run this thing for like six years and it'll still be worth probably like eight grand at the end. So I'm excited. Uh, I love these cars. I love the look of them overall. Like I think this and the WRX are like the best looking cars out of the bunch. So this is like the closest thing you can get to a WRX, um, but it's cheaper because it's front wheel drive. So with that you get torque steer, which isn't really an issue. Um, if you definitely get a rear motor mount, which I'm gonna do soon, I need to look for one of those. But you definitely wanna rear motor mount, otherwise torque steer can be annoying modding it, adding power. Uh, you definitely want to want to make sure your engine is being held down uh, securely. So that's really why I got the Mazda Speed 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Thank you for watching, stick until the end. I have some solid shifter bushings that I'm going to be giving away soon, so stay tuned for that. If you guys want to stick around and follow the build, please do. We're going to have a lot of fun building this car. It's going to be a lot of fun, uh, but thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Only time you ever call me.